大康自然健康中心成立于一九八七年，率先将自然疗法、同类疗法同埋碗创水疗引进香港。我哋提供各项整全性治疗方式，排除体内毒素，增强自身免疫系统，一切尽在大康自然健康中心。电话二五七七三七九八，网址三个 w dot n a t u r a l h e a l i n g dot com dot h k。以下节目内容。纯属主持及嘉宾个人意见，与本台立场无关。各位网上听众，你哋好，我系袁大明，啊，好高兴咧，今晚又能够同大家一齐探讨一啲香港近日发生嘅事情，或者正在困扰香港嘅问题。香港出路网上电台嘅节目嘅目的咧，系希望咧系为香港寻找一条出路，能够真真正正解决香港面对嘅问题。咁我哋唔係希望呢，係只係同大家睇大事批评下政府、某机构或者某人对某事处理得唔好，咁大家发泄一轮就算。我哋希望呢，係能够深入讨论问题嘅根源啦，了解问题嘅来龙去脉。咁同埋呢，係如果係即係当时係、啊、你喺嗰个处境之下呢，其实我哋自己可以做得啲咩嘢呢？令到呢个问题真真正正解决啦。咁好啦，咁今晚我哋嗰、那个诶、啊那个题目呢，就係、是。讲系，其实呢，我哋呢个世界系真真正正系由咩人控制我哋嘅呢？咁咁即系话 ，Who really control our world？ 咁点解我哋诶、呃、中影都会喺度呢？咁因为呢，我哋今晚嘅嘉宾呢，诶 Neil g o o l 呢，咁其实以前都嚟过㗎啦。咁佢系香港嘅外星政治学嘅香港区嘅啊，即系个代表啦。咁咁喺个网上呢，我哋都可以睇到佢嗰、那个嗰、那个网嗰、那个网址嘅。咁系诶 ，Exo Politics 啊。咁佢喺香港嘅代表嘅，咁另外一位誒、呃、我哋嘉賓呢，就誒 Moon 方啦，咁其實佢兩位都曾經呢，喺我哋嘅電台呢，都係講過有關啲外星嘅誒嘅嘅嘅情況嘅，咁佢亦佢誒 Moon 咧係 Moon 方係香港嘅非典學會嘅會長咁，咁除此之外呢，我哋嘅關啊關常嘅嘅主主持人啦，咁啊啊啊啊李永康啦咁，咁其實啊啊 New g o o l 呢，其實呢，佢係香港外星政治學院嘅。嘅創辦人嚟嘅，咁亦都係國際外星政治學院嗰、那個嗰、那個網絡嘅聯盟。咁呢個 Exo Politics 咧，即係喺其實可以話一個世界國際性嘅組織嚟嘅。咁佢係香港嗰、那個啊呢一方面嚇外星政治學嘅，佢係香港嘅創辦人嚟嘅。咁其實世界各地咧有不同嘅誒嘅嘅創辦人咧，都係喺同呢個國際嘅外星政治學院咧係有聯盟嘅。好嗱。咁我哋今晚呢，就因為有外籍人士啦，啊 Mr. Neil g o o l 啦，咁我哋個我哋會即係用誒、呃、用有陣時用下英語啦，有陣時用返我哋平時嘅廣東話咁，咁相信我哋嘅聽眾呢，大部分都係雙語㗎啦，咁所以呢，就誒、呃、免咗我哋呢，就要翻譯啦，咁喺適當嘅時間呢。我哋就會用返廣東話啦，或者去用返嗰個英語嘅咁。咁其實最緊要呢，就係最近呢香港即係個選舉啦，咁睇下香港嘅誒傳媒啦，啲又不斷咁報道啦。誒個關鍵時刻啦，誒九月七號啦，就我哋嘅選舉日啦。咁好多嘅誒嘅宣傳嘅片段啦，都講呢，我哋有好多方面嘅選擇嘅咁。咁我哋都記得呢，就誒。前前前兩次啦，咁我都提及啦。咁因為我遇到一個一個好得意嘅問題嘅，我亦都喺參加過不同嘅誒選舉嘅嘅論壇裏面啦。咁有啲人即係討論呢，即係香港嘅即係應該點樣選啊？嚇選啲咩人啊？咁咁我哋即係不約而同呢，就聽到一一種嘅一一般人都有呢種咁樣嘅經驗，有種咁樣嘅感嘆啦。即係有時候呢，你發現呢，你真係想選個人呢，就即係冇乜真真正正好好好好。即係好好值得選嘅人出現，或者佢嘅政綱咧真係好全面嘅，就唔係咧就係只係為一啲小住人咧攞啲即係攞啲選票啊咁嚟到做出呢啲咁嘅政綱嘅。咁但係一般嘅人咧都有種咁樣嘅誒做法咧，即係話誒如果即係冇一個誒、呃、即係咁啱嘅人選啦，咁但係始終咧係選一個冇咁差嘅人咯咁樣樣。咁所以咧對好多人嘅心目中咧，佢哋對個選舉咧即係香港呢個誒選舉嘅活動咧，有時都可以咁講咧，即係。有啲失望啦，有有啲無奈啦，咁樣樣，咁就感覺上呢，即係作為一個誒誒喺一個即係誒所謂民主嘅社會啦，咁我有有我哋有一個誒選舉嘅權利啦，咁係經過選舉呢，我哋可以呢，起碼呢，係即係控制我哋嘅我哋嗰個社會，控制我哋嘅生活啦，控制我哋自己嘅啊嘅各方面嘅嘅誒啊個國家嘅需要咯咁。
。咁但係我亦都提及啦，即係如果即係有一種新嘅講法啦，喺喺而家坊間都好多人都講㗎啦。即係如果你真係萬萬一真係選唔到一啲啱嘅人呢，其實又另外一個途徑呢，就可以選一個即係投一個棄權囉，係咪？咁棄權都係一個信息嚟嘅，即係話呢，唔該你下次呢。誒俾啲即係啱啲嘅人俾我選啦，或者俾啲好啲正光我哋揀啦咁。咁其實坊間咧已經好多人已經講講緊呢樣嘢㗎啦。咁呢啲就唔係一般人會諗得到㗎。但係我始終呢，即係人嘅嘢冇嘢嘅，即係與其話唔參選、唔去報名或者唔去誒唔、呃、去註冊做選民，其實我哋可以用另外一個方法呢，係表達我哋嘅意願，表達我哋嘅不滿嘅咁。好啦。咁今日點解我哋講嗰個即係控制呢樣嘢呢？因為我哋喺嗰個民主嘅嘅社會呢，喺民主嘅路程呢，我成日有種咁樣嘅感覺呢，即係誒有嘅民主，我哋先至有有辦法呢係控制我哋嘅。咁但係呢，事實上呢，係咪真係喺一個民主嘅社會裏面呢？我哋我哋都覺得呢，我哋真係係咪操操縱緊自己嘅呢？咁樣？咁呢個呢，就係我哋今日想想討論嘅嗱，因為呢。啊、我哋之前都都講過嘅，係譬如喺經濟嗰方面啦。我成日覺得呢，我哋個、啊、地球嘅或者世界嘅經濟呢，成日有啲波動、啊、大概七年半度嬲咗，咁就會有高有高有低嘅咁。咁但我都指出過啦，其實我哋個個經濟嗰方面嗰個現象啦，其實大家冇乜真真正正好大嘅改變嘅，即係大家都咁返工，大家都諗住做嘢，係嘛？即係唔會話做咗下嘢呢，又懶咗又唔做嘢呀，或者放假呀咁樣。咁而嗰個地球方面呢，嗰、那個。即係大氣候啊，誒、呃、嗰、那個誒、呃，即係可能可能話影響我哋嗰、那個誒、呃、生產嘅誒嘅嘅嘅元素呢，其實冇乜點改嘅。咁但始終呢，好得意嘅，我哋嘅經濟呢，硬係有啲高高低低、高高低低嘅咁。咁所以我哋我哋感覺到呢，其實呢，我哋嘅成個經濟呢，其實係真係好多人控制住我哋嘅。咁我哋嘅地球呢，好多方面呢，真係令到我哋呢，係即係硬係覺得有啲唔妥，又亦都講唔出啊。咁我亦都喺外國已經出現到一個現象呢，就係、是。即係外國嘅傳媒呢，基本係四大四大嘅大大嘅機構呢，大嘅財團控制晒。嘅。咁石油呢個問題呢，我哋都睇到啦。石油嘅價錢呢，一陣間高，一陣間低，一陣間高，一陣間低。咁其實有啲人都都指出呢，其實真真正正產油國，佢買嗰石油嘅價錢呢，真係唔係我哋出面睇到嘅一百一百幾一百幾蚊美金嘅，佢可能五五蚊十蚊嘅啫。咁其實中犀利，中間人呢，係係係攞咗好多。咁其實好多時候呢。系喺中間嚟控制嘅，真係唔係我哋以為呢，佢嗰、那個係啦嗱咁嗱呢樣呢，我哋第時有機會呢，我慢慢揭露啦。即係其實好多人都唔知嘅中間有好多好多一層好層係控制咗我哋個油價嘅。咁你可以睇到啦，咁一陣間又高返，一陣間又又跌返落嚟啦。咁有乜原因啫？我我哋嗰個我哋個石油嘅出產量係冇乜點變㗎嘛。咁但偏偏呢，我哋成日經歷得到嘅，我哋經濟呢，成好多呢啲咁嘅波動嘅。好啦，咁到底係一個係一個民主個個社會啦。咁我哋係咪真係因為有民主呢？我哋真係控制咗我哋嗰、那個我哋個將來，控制我哋嗰嗰個個生活呢？咁呢個就係我哋要今晚要討討論嘅嘢㗎喇。咁啊 ，Mr. Neil Gore 呢，咁佢都即係大家都同上次都有機會同佢誒接觸過啦。咁佢喺我哋嘅啊託啊電台上呢，都提及嘅。咁因為佢細個嗰時候呢，就真係有一個好得意嘅經歷，就係咧係即係有好幾次呢，係接接觸過外星嘅啊外星嘅文明、外星嘅所謂外星人啊咁樣。咁就佢變咗呢，喺我哋嘅喺呢方面呢，佢有好多嘅誒、呃、深入啲嘅研究啊，同埋了解呢。其實呢，我哋個地球係點樣點樣控制嘅。所以我而家或者開始用誒同阿 Mr. 誒、uh, Neil Go 傾一傾先啦。咁咁其實我之前我同佢講嘅，但 we always you know we all feel because of the democratic process you know we get to de- de- to to determine our destiny. But when we look at the situation all over the world among all the democratic countries, a lot of people have the feeling that we are not really in control. So really, who who really control us? Who is really controlling our our world and our destiny? Okay, well, you know, freedom is an illusion. We're actually free to do as we are told. The whole world is controlled, and the question is a very good question. But you know, unfortunately, the answer goes back thousands of years.、Mm. Um, there is a lie at every level. To quote. Mr. Richard Hoagland, an ex-NASA consultant,、um, the the problem is is that the human being has been controlled right the way back at the time of his his creation. Now,、mm-hmm. what is his creation? His creation was not the biblical creation. His creation was a process of genetic engineering, which was done two hundred thousand years ago. The Anunnaki 
who are the um, original um, extraterrestrials who arrived on this planet 450,000 years ago, they were here mining gold to improve their atmosphere and to improve their health. They were making something called, I think it was monomatic gold, perhaps you're mm -hmm. more, more, more familiar with it. Mm -hmm. um, they were turned into white powder. The, the problem was that their own people became very dissatisfied with the conditions of the mining. And it came to a point where Anu, who was the ruler at the time, he had two sons, Enki and Enlil, which I told you about on the last show, uh, they decided that they needed to genetically engineer a human in order to continue the mining. This happened 250,000, 200,000 years ago. And the control basically started then because it was specifically, a human was specifically designed and made to do the work. Uh, obviously events overtook this and as time went on, various other extraterrestrials got involved. And there's a very famous author, his name is Jack Barringer. And Jack Barringer talks about the eight shocks which the human being has suffered. Now you might say, what are the eight shocks? Well, at that time the gods, the extraterrestrials, would be forcing enslavement. There was the great flood of Noah. There was the exodus from Egypt. And there were the circumcisions of the Jewish people. Um, very painful stuff. Now you ask yourself, well, why was this going on? Well, this was all, you know, methods of instilling the will and, and, and forcing the human to be obedient. And this is actually the beginning of the control mechanism of human. Human is very easily controlled. I mean, how stupid is it? that we have a world full of different religions. You know, some people are going to this temple, some people are going to that temple, this one's arguing with that one about this religion, that one's arguing with another about that religion. You have the Vatican, you have the Pope, controlling 1.2 billion minds. If the Pope says birth control cannot do it, 1.2 billion minds follow it. This is all control. Mm -hmm. And it all comes back to the basic abuse of the human being after his genetic creation by the extraterrestrials from the times of the Anunnaki. So, the ultimate purpose is to, what, enslave people to obey What has happened, them? This, this particular control mechanism never left the planet. It has been passed down behind the scenes all throughout the centuries, through secret societies, through various organizations. You just have to go back to the time of Akhenaten, you know, 2,000 years B.C., around that, that kind of time in, in, in Egypt, there was a, a secret society called the Brotherhood of the Snake. They had hidden knowledge. So all your biblical characters, like your, your Moses, who led the Jews out of, out of Egypt, all these people from the Bible, all were members of the Brotherhood of the Snake. They all had the hidden knowledge. They were just merely acting out the instructions of the custodial gods to keep mm -hmm. the human being under control. Now, if we take, we jump a little bit, you know, uh, all over the place. Unfortunately, I can't give you a linear mm -hmm. picture of, of, of linear time because mm -hmm. it's, it's really all over the place. But there have been many, many, many episodes where we've had invasion by this species of extraterrestrial, by that species, and one of the ones that's the most controversial at the moment are the reptilians, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, who themselves... Um, master genetic engineers. I mean, they absolutely genetically engineered um, the Orions into the Greys and they act as the proxies of the reptilians. Uh, these people are still controlling us today, these, these extraterrestrials. And what happens is you have the elites, the blue-blooded people, mm -hmm. you know, who were the interface between the reptilians, extraterrestrials in, in, in the Sumerian times or even more recent than that. Um, they would actually empower priests and the priests would encourage the people, control them to do sacrifices, give them things and those priests basically were, 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 were really empowered, they were blue blooded and there's, a, there, there's an actual uh, pattern that can be traced genetically from, from uh, the area of Iraq, which is Iraq today, which was Sumeria or Aden at the time where these people, blue blooded people moved all over the place from the Middle East. They moved to Rome. And what happened in Rome? We had the Vatican. You see? Mm -hmm. And then Alexander the Great. And then the royal family. They're all connected to this reptilian bloodline. Mm -hmm. And they all belong to secret societies. You have the Bilderberg Group. Mm -hmm. You know, 
all these politicians of the world come there to meet in secret. What they're doing is they're discussing the agenda for the next year. They're not telling anybody. You're not allowed to know what the meeting's about. There are armed guards outside. But all the politicians that we know arrive there and they claim to be there of their own, in their own personal capacity, mm. not in the capacity of governments. Now, within those secret societies, within those groups of the Bilderberg, etc., are secret societies. Mm. And some of them have very, very strong links with regressive extraterrestrials. You've heard of child sacrifices. Mm. You, know, I, I, you know, I don't know how deep I'm supposed to talk about this, Mm-mm. but there are terrible things that happen, but it's no more terrible than the wars in America, dropping bombs on Iraq and killing innocent people. It's no mm. more terrible than that. So, trust me when I tell you that the control of the society is ingrained, not only in the military-industrial complex, it's ingrained in the educational institutions, because they all have fraternities in mm-hmm. these universities, Skull mm-hmm. and Bones. Well, hello, no mm-hmm. surprise, George was, is, is mm-hmm. a member of the, the, the Skull and Bones. This is a very, very, very um, deep and complex uh, subject, the lie at every level, where the Freemasons, mm-hmm. I'm talking about the Freemasons mm-hmm. at the top, are the ones, the, the real ones who really know what's going on. The guys further down are just, you know, doing mm-hmm. charitable stuff. They don't really know where this is all, you know, mm-hmm. what's happening at the top. They probably don't, don't believe it. But they are whistleblowers who have come out mm-hmm. and they've, they've told the truth. But we, we get our information, we get our knowledge also from contactees who are told by helper extraterrestrials. So we're not wrong. Everything is absolutely, you know, pans out and matches. No, but... If you look at the uh, the state of mankind, uh, we sort of we kind of in a mess, right? I mean, so if we are being controlled by this uh, uh, supposedly uh, more highly evolved or developed uh, intelligent being, and yet the result that we are now having is this sort of a catastrophic. You know, we are heading toward disaster. So maybe they are losing control on us too. This is how they want they want you to be in a disaster. You know, it's we are battery chickens. We are a resource for them. You know, mm-hmm. the, as I said to you, the priests used to, you know, encourage their, their flock to do sacrifices, you know, bring them goods, bring them good things. Well, you know, the elites who are running the world are being rewarded. You know, the great big families, the rich banking families, they're being rewarded. Mm-hmm. They don't care. They want us in a mess. They want us all to have different religions. They want us all to have our own national territories. They don't want the borders to come down. They want to have different uh, opinions between people. They want to keep you in a state of chaos and confusion. Because for them, they're making money. Mm. You know, the more organized we become, and this is what the extraterrestrial and the UFO phenomenon is all about. We have the positive extraterrestrials trying to bring about an awakened humanity. Mm-mm. trying to bring about an awakened humanity. Now, this is a whole new subject, which is the answer to beat this control problem. I mean, I could talk about an awakened humanity, and this is the solution to, to make us really heal and to win this war. You so, know. if we were to, uh, you know, to, uh, to uh, sort of uh, help ourselves, you know, to get ourselves out of this mess, uh, if we are not really being totally controlled, you know, by this kind of uh, a more uh, powerful uh, being, uh, because they are other more benevolent, powerful being that we that we can uh, uh, rely on or allied with. So, uh, how would that happen? I mean, I mean, how? What do you see? Can you know that that will develop? Well, let's let's put it this way. Mm. If I'm going to talk, let's say we have the planet. Okay. okay. Who represents the planet? You see, mm. you, you know, if we sort of got everybody together in the world, all the mm. countries together, mm. and we said, right, let's have a planetary voice. America will be afraid because there's only 300 million Americans. There's 1.2 billion Chinese. So mm-hmm. they won't be happy with that. Mm-hmm. Right? If you come up with a solution for energy, free energy, right. the Americans will kill you. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll, I'll just tell you as it is. If mm. you come up with anything that spoils the status quo of Mm. keeping us confused, they will deal with you. Now, Mm. just come back to the awakened humanity. To have a planetary voice, we first of all have to recognize who is the planetary voice. Mm -hmm. Is it just the Americans? Is it the Chinese because there's more of them? Who is it? We have to look at the planetary voice as being, by consensus, incorporating 
everybody, okay, and all that the means species. all the species, mm-hmm. correct, Moon? Mm-hmm. As when Moon is referring to there, she's referring to the dolphins, the whales, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Lily, mm-hmm. Dr. Lily. He is the guy who's been doing all the, uh, the um, investigations into the uh, minds of dolphins and methods of communication, mm-hmm. which are much more complex than you can imagine compared to ours. There's nothing. You know, mm-hmm. they have fifth density ability of, 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 of uh, awareness. They have telepathy. They have ultrasound. They have sonar. And, you know, they have, they have various other aspects of, of communication that the military intelligence services will not release. It's all classified. But we know it's there. So, you know, we are looking at very, very intelligent species there, which is part of the planetary voice, but we ignore them. Mm-hmm. Secondly, the people of Earth. Thirdly, the Telosians. Those are people who live under the ground, just mm-hmm. like you and I. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to believe. Yes, it, it is hard. It's hard to believe. <laughs> but if you, if you look at the surface area of the world, it's X amount of square miles. Right. Okay. Put, you know, including the sea. If you separate the surface area or the lithosphere between land and sea, mm. if 25% land, 75% sea. Mm. But you can only use the surface of the land. Mm-hmm. But the sea, you can go underneath miles mm. and miles and miles. Right. So you have a cubic capacity. You have a volumetric area which can be inhabited and, and there is life. And then if you go subterranean into the ground... There are caverns and corridors and grottos. You know, in America, there are DUMBs, D-U-M-B, the deep underground military bases. There's over 140, 150 of these where they have high-speed, you know, um, uh, magnetic levitation trains that are moving at Mach 3, which they tunnel using these special uh, nuclear-headed tunnel machines that melt the the, 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 the rocks rocks, and forms a glass, uh, you know, nice, clean, strong smooth surface around it. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And this is what humans are doing in the last 20, 25 years. But the Telosians have been there even longer. And if, if we are to believe the stories of the Agathans even deeper down than that, what we do know is that there are indigenous reptilians not necessarily bad. Okay? Mm-hmm. Not all reptilians are bad. Not, mm-hmm. not all humans are good. Not all humans are bad. Mm-hmm. But there are reptilians. I mean, if you go to my website... You will see I have the largest uh, growing free online library of free mm-hmm. books. You can download them. Mm-hmm. The very, very first one you'll see is called the Lacerta Files. So mm-hmm. if you go to my website and you look under free online books, you read the Lacerta Files. You'll see a reptilian came up and was interviewed by a Swedish lady. And all the information is very highly technical. It's, it's quite easy to understand. This could not have been made up. So we have these civilizations living under the ground. Now... By all rights, you know, if, if, if in, in life we see one country kicks another country off a piece of land, well, they'd be entitled to kick us off the earth. They've been here longer than us. It's just a very, very complex subject about awakened humanity and who is the planetary voice representing it. Finally, the most important point of all, of the mm-hmm. planetary voice, mm-hmm. there's something called the new sphere, N-O-O-S-P-H-E-R-E. The new sphere... The new sphere. New sphere. This is the collective consciousness surrounding the planet. Okay? Because Gaia, the Gaia hypothesis, G-A-I-A, Gaia. Gaia is Mother Earth. Mother Earth is also part of the planetary voice. She is conscious. But we, as humans, do not recognize, not understand this. We have not awoken. But who do you think is hosting us on the planet? Who do you think is hosting all the life on the planet? Who do you think is hosting the new sphere around the planet? You know, who is controlling the temperature of the planet? You know, I know we're moving into an area of, of, of warming, but so is the whole, the whole of the solar system. But we've, in fact, the, you know, the, 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 the whole solar system is warming up for many, many, many thousand years anyway. Yet, the temperature on Earth has not really changed because there's something called the daisy land scenario. Mm. What the daisy land scenario is, and this is done by intelligence of the new sphere, which is a cybernetic bioreactive feedback. In other words, if you have a thousand black daisies, the sun shines on them, the black daisies absorb the heat, it gets too hot. So the new sphere will produce white daisies to reflect oh, okay. them. So it's, it's, it's cybernetic bioreactive. Mm-hmm. So we're talking now, I'm introducing you to awaken you, awaken your minds to understand it's not only about 
us physically. It's about the collective inhabitants and intelligences that are on this planet as the planetary voice. Because we now, we, we, we talk about control on the one hand, we talk about breaking control on the other. Mm-hmm. Now you have to understand that extraterrestrials flying around, people say, well, why don't they just land and come and solve our problems? Right, right. Because they are at such a level, they know that we have to evolve. If we evolve halfway, mm-hmm. they'll meet us halfway. Now, you have different, uh, you know, civilizations out there. You're type zero. We are type zero. We, 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 we live on fossil fuels. We burn fossil fuels. We get our energy mm. from fossil fuels. A type one civilization would have exhausted fossil fuels. They have control of their planet, okay, of earthquakes, this kind of stuff. And they're obtaining the energy, you know, in other ways, from the sun or, or, or even from the fabric of space itself. You have type two civilizations that perhaps are, are drawing the energy from, from the solar system or from the galaxy. Now, it is, it is widely thought of, it is widely uh, understood uh, amongst the ex-politicians that a type 2 civilization would actually be in sync, synchronized, and in communication with our new sphere. So, Mother Earth and, and the intelligence of Mother Earth would be communicating on a level with type 2 civilizations, people like the Andromedans. Now, why do we get crop circles, you see? Because the crop circle is a manifestation from the new sphere. Okay, the crop, is, crop circle is giving, it's a biofeedback, cybernetic, it's telling us, wake up, read what we are putting into the, into, the, into the fields. It's coming from intelligences greater than yourself. And the information is given from the extraterrestrials to Gaia, to Mother Earth, into the new sphere, and Mother Earth controls everything on the planet. She's conscious, and she creates the crop circles whether it's in the snow, whether it's in the fields. So I'm sorry to have to go all the way around, mm. but it's very important to paint the picture of what is going on, because the more people understand this, the quicker we'll break this terrible stranglehold of control that is on us. Okay. Well, I feel that we all need a break. You know, it's a very heavy-duty stuff, and uh, it takes t- <laughs> some time for us to really digest it. So let's have a few minutes break to just digest what you know, Neil just told us. Okay. 六创意健康店系一间最多元化选择嘅健康店，提供二千多种不同种类嘅健康食品同饮品、环保家居及个人用品、健康产品、营养补充剂、一系列健康书籍等等。六创意健康店电话二八八二四八四八，网址三个 W d o H E A L T H S H O P d o com d o H K。好嗱，佢哋好快呢，今日啊翻嚟繼續今晚嘅講題啦。咁我哋誒今晚個講題就係呢，係講即係誒咩人係真正控制我哋嘅世界嘅咁。咁我哋誒請咗兩位嘉賓啦。咁誒 Neil 哥呢，係香港嘅外星政治學院嘅創辦人，同埋阿 Moon 方就香港飛碟學會嘅會長。咁嗱，大家聽佢呢個兩位嘉賓嘅背景呢，大家都可能都預期到呢，我哋所聽到嘅嘢呢，就唔係我一般人呢會<笑>會即係會諗到會聽到㗎喇。咁果然呢，不出我所料啦，係<笑>咪？即係我哋我雖然成日都飲咗杯港式奶茶㗎喇，我好少飲茶飲咖啡嘅人。個杯仔點解同我？但係呢，個腦呢，個腦都好似好脹嚇，即係都真係<笑>真係我都唔能夠嚇做一個。我簡潔，我就家諗啦嚇，改成咩使咩翻教，使咩翻教堂啦。好啦，嗱，咁或者我哋誒再俾一個機會我哋咧誒，請阿阿阿阿阿阿滿芳咧，就再即係再用，即即講俾你聽啦嚇。我頭先阿阿阿 Neil 咧，其實所所講嘅款信息係點樣樣？嗯，總結下咁啊嘛，係嘛？因為佢而家講，佢頭先講得係好廣泛嘅，係咯。咁誒，其實喺麥後佢話。如果一開始嘅時候咧，將所有嘅一個大嘅 picture 講出嚟先咧，嗱，你放心，佢下半場咧就會講得實在啲噶啦，講翻啲細啲嘅嘢。嗯，咁佢由人開始講起，佢話人咧，其實我哋嘅基因裏面咧，做我哋出嚟咧，就已經係有呢個生化機械人嘅性格，基因喺裏邊。四十五萬年前，一批外星人嚟到，啊、嗯，用去到半途，到到二十萬年前度咧，咁就基因改造咗。地球上嘅一啲動物，咁就將佢變成我哋呢個人種嘅最早期。咁佢當年咧係做嚟係做
、呃、開採礦啊，咁就做做生化機械人嘅。所以我頭先話咁，我哋即係個個其實裏面都係有少少奴隸獸嘅基因喺裏面，同埋加埋咁多萬年嚟咧，唔同嘅外星族嚟到呢，係將我哋嘅基因一路改,改造過，咁改造到而家係千絲萬縷一唔可以一語道破，究竟？成件事嚇，成件事係點樣㗎啦？因為亦都係好多唔同嘅族嘅人嚟到嘅歷史咁樣。咁啊，佢又講起其實呢，呃、我誒誒、呃呃、星際嘅文明啦，我哋嘅文明呢，就係最低級嘅啫，零級嘅啫、啊、因為我哋只係用燒嘅、呃、石油。咁啊，第一級呢，呃、第,第一級啊，零我哋進一級嗰個就好少少。咁佢又講起呢個第二級呢，就係、是、會用、呃、宇宙嘅能源或者係太陽能。咁如果用到太陽能呢，佢就講翻起呢。其實誒喺呢個上空，可能喺上空下，我哋有一個集體記憶帶叫 New Sphere。誒咁喺呢種第二種嘅文明裏面呢，佢哋係同誒地母啦嚇加入，係會有一個好直接嘅溝通嘅。咁誒、呃、如果誒嗰、呃那個文明係需要有啲乜嘢誒，要要改變嗰個地球，有啲嘢行歪咗呢。嗰、那個成個大自然咧，係幫佢溝通翻。例如麥團軒有一個很好好嘅例子，係俾緊信息出嚟、啊，又講緊一啲好特別嘅現象。例如，如果啲地球嘅氣温嚇、啊，如果係唔同咗，點解點解一路熱呢？誒、呃，即係變咗好多嘅幾十萬年嚟，點解個氣温一定係停翻咁多呢？就係、是、因為我哋其實地球自己係一個、呃、有生命嘅東西，佢自己會、呃、出顯,顯生啦，可以講顯生唔同嘅物種呢。去平衡返啲誒氣温嘅，例如白色白啲嘅花會會啊涼啲，黑色嘅花會吸返多啲光咁樣。咁啊嗱，各位你哋補充返啲啦。外星人其實即係唔淨止一種嘅喎，係啊係、啊。最少即係有兩種咯、啊，一種呢就會令到我哋人類呢係有自覺嘅，嗯，一種呢就令到我哋奴役我哋嘅。係啊，其實佢係講緊地球上啊、呃、一樣係有好同唔好，中間黑白嗰、那個。好灰色地帶嘅唔同嘅動機嘅國家，地球裏面嘅國家嘅人種嚇，都有唔同嘅動機。咁呢個其實係應用翻去出面個宇宙聯盟啊，出面嗰個外星嘅世界都一樣嘅。咁你話大致分佢有好嘅同唔好，其實中間仲有好多級。不過講呢，就話有啲好嘅，有一扎係希望提升我哋，有一扎咧希望我哋越亂越好嚇。咁而家我哋地球上亂成咁呢，係佢哋目的已達，使命已達嘅，唔好嗰班，佢哋係想咁樣樣。咁啊，當然有好多唔同嘅秘密組織係匿埋曬喺一啲唔同嘅，尤其是教會啊、呃、宗教組織啊、呃、秘密組織後面。咁頭先提起啊，有骷髏會啊、兄弟會啊，係嘛？同埋佢哋會每一年都會齊集喺度，就幫我哋決定下一年到底做啲乜嘢。係啊，佢哋話私人到訪一個加州一個。度假樂園啊嘛，咁、啊啊、但係其實全世界最重要嗰啲人呢，就著便服去嗰度私人啊,啊，如果偷聽佢，即係啲股票指數咪發達，唔入得㗎喎，<笑>有家財企曬喺出面㗎喎，如果有相影落佢哋。但係呢個世界如果有即係、就是、有錢能夠揾嘅地方，即、就、係、是、一定應該會有有人諗辦法去揾咗個嗰啲錢出嚟㗎。咁啊！呢班人其實唔係淨係要揾錢嘅，佢係目的係要控制個地。唔係我其他人啊嘛，即係如果有個咁嘅咁嘅組織喺度啊嚇，咁多人啊，咁、嗯、多乜人都喺度控制，即係已經預先寫定，今年寫定下一年嘅嘢啊。咁、呃、我知道咗下一年嘅嘢，今年咪真係發大達㗎喎。全民全民點知寫下一年啊？十八世紀已經寫定呢，誒好早幾個世紀前已經寫定曬幾個世紀之後嗰三次世界大戰要點樣打，都寫埋。Okay, now, um, uh, Moon, Moon just attempt, you know, to kind of uh, give a kind of a, a brief summary, you know. So we have a few more minutes to really try to digest and understand、uh, what Neil just just told us. You know, it is a it is sort of a it's a broad scope. You know, it's at the level I would say most people, most of our audience would would be puzzled. All right. I have a question for Neil. Yes. Okay, controlling means management. You will, if you want to control something, you got to pay your efforts to manage it. So, in marketing sense, everybody want to find a way to market control. But I can tell you that market control only successful in a certain short period of time. In longer period of time, marketing control collapse. Millions of examples can tell you the cartels. 
the oil industry or tell you that market control in a certain long period of time it fails. Why? Because when you control something, when you want to manage something, it will out of your control and out of what you want to manage. Do you want me to answer that? Sure. That's that's my really question because it's really hard to control something, even for a small factory like I own. I want to control everything, but okay. <laughs> finally I got you know they've got you, they've got you right where they want you. Yeah, believing that. Yeah, this control mechanism started hundreds of thousands years ago, and it's still here now. I have no doubts. It is all control. Even the building up of a cartel, the collapse of a control. It's all decided and advanced by a very few handful of elites. Bilderberg, CFR, we were talking about this, mm-hmm. this uh, Council of Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission. These elites determine and advance their geopolitics. That means, you know, for example, why did they go into Iraq? Well, they decide in advance it's a strategic place. They go into Iraq for the oil. They tell you it's another thing. They tell you there's, um, you know, weapons of mass destruction. The whole world operates on this basis. We are sitting here controlled, believing that cartels come and go, that you know Rome uh, grew up, became prosperous, and then collapsed under its own weight. Yes, but something else takes its place very quickly. So we're still in the grips of this control mechanism, which today is controlled by the following sectors. One, religion. There's nothing controlling people today like religion. Mm-hmm. You can control a billion Muslims, you can even get them to blow themselves up. This has been going on for thousands of years, you know. You can take, as I said to you, 1.2 billion Catholics, and you can make them all think one way. You can take a whole lot of, you know, Christians, Catholics, Jews, any religion you like, and you can control them. And not only can you control them for the purposes just for control, for keeping them divided, you can make them do things to further your political aims. So control has not disappeared it is a marketing game that continues under new guises all the time. And today, the military-industrial complex, which is the subcontractors to the military, today like Lockheed Martin, all these big Halliburton, you were talking mm. about Blackwaters, these groups, if, if, if there were no wars, they'd have nothing to do. So, they have to make wars. This is all part of control. See? But, now, all the people... All the organizations that you mentioned, but th- these are real human, right? And with a limited lifespan, and then they are all biological entity. That means they will decline, they will age, and then if you look at some of them, you know, I mean, I, I don't really feel that they are, you know, that powerful a being. Many of them are ailing, elderly people suffering from health problems too. So, I mean. People with limited lifespan, limited uh, ability to 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 uh, to to enjoy the sensory uh, well or sensory pleasure. So what is all this grand scale to control? I mean, where would they? You know, what would they get in the end? They die. It's a continuum. It's mm. a continuum. Our lifespans are only eighty years, mm. but the concept of the, the extraterrestrial lifespans are thousands of years. Some mm. of them are thousands of years. You know. I refer you again to my free online books. Okay. You read mm. The Gods of Eden. Gods of Eden. The Gods of Eden. Mm. You know, this will absolutely blow your mind away. Now, you say, okay, lifespan is, of humans is short, they die, and right. you know, the, 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 the control, so to speak, ends. But Freemasonry, mm. you know, this is just one, one small part of the big picture. There are grander scales of control above that too. And these are passed down generation after generation after generation. You know, the Knights Templar. You know, all, all these, these secret societies continue in one guise or the other. So, sure, people died 400 years ago, mm-hmm. you know, but the Vatican is still here today. It's, it's not gone anywhere. All the mm. popes have died, but there's another one. You see? Mm. It's the same chicken laying a new <laughs> egg. The chicken mm-hmm. is very old, right? Mm-hmm. So, the control mechanism is here. And it's here for a reason. And, you know, this is another whole story why it's here, why we are being controlled. Right. It's another horrific story. <laughs> but you know, maybe we'll get to that. We'll see. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yes, to a certain extent. Okay. Well, I mean, to begin, you know, mm. yes, I have yes. another question. Good. If they are so smart, 
Okay, they are so smart. They can control everything. Okay, or even they can control the odd possibilities. Who? Sorry. Odd possibilities. Who you talking about? Who's they? You talking about the extraterrestrials or the elites? Elites. The humans. Okay. okay. If they are so smart, why they, why they, try to control us? They can using their technology. They can use their power. They can enjoy their life. Why, why to why to exercise their power to control such stupid people like us? That's a very good question. Yeah, it's a very good it's question. It's an enjoyable task. What's he saying? Well, you know, it's an enjoyable task. But as I said to you. These people are in an incredible、um, position of privilege. These elites and their close coordinates and proxies and friends, humans, right? The day that this planet, people on this planet, turn around and say, "I am no longer a Chinese. I am no longer American. I am no longer an African. I am an Earthling." In other words, the day everybody loses their national identity and says, "I am an Earthling." Those elites have got a big problem because they can't control anymore. They're using the geopolitics. They're using the division of countries to further their own, their own, you know, personal requirements, their their their, their needs, and 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 the greed, if you like. The minute you break that, okay, they've got a harder task. They can't divide and rule. They will lose their grip on the resources. They'll lose their grip on the good time that you say they're having. Now, just one other, a small diversion. You say they could have a good time. They could do this. You have absolutely no idea just what technology some of these elites have. They even have bases on the moon. I don't want to go and say for sure on Mars, but yes, there are reports on Mars too. They have an alternative. They, some of these people can pack up and go, and, and, and some of them have. They can come and go in and out of this atmosphere, out of Earth's. You know, control its environment, its influence into space, as and when they like, and they do. That's how far the technology is. But it's a hard one for your audience to swallow, to believe, to listen to, because the control mechanism forbids this kind of thing to get out. You know, if you say, "Oh, I saw a UFO," they say you're crazy. You know, I saw, I had an extraterrestrial come into my room. You're crazy. Go and take some medicine. Mm-hmm. But there are people around the world that are experiencing this day in and day out, including myself.、Mm-hmm. So you know, they are there. They want an awakened humanity. No, when you when you said that they want to divide us and so that they can control us better, but then there is a worldwide trend we call the globalization. You know, I mean, this, somehow it's being pushed.、Right? All the、uh, countries want to、uh, want want to group together into a region. You know, that's why the North、yes. South America、yes. and North Central America, and even the Asian, you know, they want to kind of、uh, come together in a block, and eventually, they want to the world to function as a as a one unit. They want to function as a one world government.、But、one the, world government. The difference is, is there's no、mm-hmm. representative of Earth. It is purely based on power. There will be negotiations between Americans and Chinese. There's 300 Americans. There's 1,200 Chinese. Okay. Let's form one government. Now we've got the technology, we've got the power. We allow you into space. Don't forget that China goes to space, Japan goes to space, only because they've submitted to the Americans. They've given up something for the Americans to open the door to allow them to go into space. It's、mm. the same with nuclear. Do you think anybody can just have a nuclear facility? No.、Mm. You have to go to the Americans. The Americans have to look where you are in the world, how useful you are, and、mm. then they see, okay, you this, you this, maybe you're okay. Uh, you know, you join a little secret club of ours, and a nuclear club, and we'll allow you to have nuclear facilities. And they use it also to create a division between India and, and, and Pakistan, for example, because that's、mm-hmm. good for the military-industrial complex. It's good for keeping people nervous. The whole thing is controlled. It's all painted in. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, it, it, it's, let's just be honest for a minute. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to insult anybody, but just look at the Pope. I mean, nice guy, you know.、Mm-hmm. Guy walks around in a dress.、Mm-hmm. I mean, if I came into your studio wearing a dress,、mm-hmm. you know, and and started waving and and going on my knees and kissing, you'd laugh at me.、Mm. But yet, there's 1.2 billion people who look at this guy, and they believe this guy is something special. He's not. He's a human. But we're conditioned, we're controlled to think otherwise. If we could just break what they call the God spell. 
Mm. The very famous author called Neil Freer, F-R-E-E-R, talks about breaking the God spell, breaking this fear. Religion makes us afraid. We don't want to, you know, come out of the accepted comfort zone. Mm. And if we can break that God spell, we can do a lot of things to awaken. We won't have a problem. We let the Pope walk around in his dress. It won't make any difference to us anymore, you see. Mm. We won't listen to him. Okay. Now, if we want to, uh, to liberate ourselves from this control, you know, uh, h- how will we go about doing it? What would be the direction that we need to go? Well, I think, first of all, you're a very good example. Because one thing that I've noticed reading your, um, your, your, your booklet that you gave me the some time ago. policy statement, yes. Yes. Um, you're talking about something that the extraterrestrials are talking about. It, it, it's a starting point. It's, it's this concept of that there's enough for everybody. Mm-hmm. Why do we need to step on the next man mm-hmm. when there's enough for everybody? This concept of, of, of sharing, mm-hmm. this concept of taking enough for ourselves and putting back Right. The concept of recycling, the concept of sustainability, the concept of respect, and more than anything, the respect for yourself. You mm-hmm. know, if you, if you respect yourself, you, you should be respecting others. And, and this is something that, you know, is part of the awakening of humanity. Mm. It's exactly as, you know, what I read in your, in, your, in, your, in your book. So that leads to another completely different subject called citizens' diplomacy. Mm. Citizens' diplomacy. Okay, now you know when two governments, when two governments, you know, going to negotiate, you know, America and Iraq or, or China and America, they have government, uh, you know, meetings and the uh, daily affair, political affairs of government. That's called track one diplomacy, right? Mm. When there's a dispute, track one. In America, there's a law in America called Logan's Law, L O G A N S, Logan's Law. Mm. Logan's law says that private citizens cannot have their diplomacy going with the next government. For example, if America is locked in a dispute with China, private citizens cannot get involved with other private citizens and have a track two diplomacy. Do you understand? Track two means? Track two. Track two is the private citizens. Mm -hmm. In other words, track one is Bush talking to, uh, let's say, for example, Putin. Uh, Hu Jintao, uh, Putin, Bush talking to Putin as track one, okay, because it's between governments. What you can't have now is an American citizen turning up, knocking on the door in Russia and saying, oh, I've got the answer, I'll, I'll, I'll solve it, all right? I will, I will negotiate to solve our problems. You can't have that with Logan's Law in America. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a real law? There's a real law, Logan's Law. I'm actually giving you the name. It's oh. called Logan's Law. You cannot. It's illegal. The danger of Logan's law is that if the American government, or let's say the military-industrial complex, the military, has track one diplomatic relations, which it does with certain extraterrestrial civilizations, the regressive ones, where they have relations with these extraterrestrials for technology, exchange of technology. They give them Earth's resources. They let them abduct and, and this kind of stuff. And they have a track one relationship. The danger with Logan's law is that citizens cannot get involved. They cannot get involved with mm. other positive extraterrestrials because it's track two. It goes against Logan's law. It will be used that way. You see? Now, so how would they enforce that law? I mean, if someone go to the Russian people and then just you know start the uh, 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 spreading his uh, you know the Americans or his individual idea, I mean. I mean, well, how will he be stopped? I mean, well, let's put it this way. They, in the past, with Logan's Law, it's, it's, it's quite a few hundred years old. Mm. Um, in, in the past, um, they actually needed citizens to break the deadlock. There's a very famous uh-huh. guy called uh, Arnold Hammer, the billionaire from America, who helped the, the Americans, you know, diffuse situations with, with mm-hmm. Russia. Mm-hmm. Arnold Hammer went across. He was doing business with the Russians. The Americans used him. It was a track to effort. And it dissolved a lot of things. So, in fact, it's useful. But... But the law is still there. It means that the Americans at any time can enforce the law. They never have succeeded yet. It just mm. so happens. But in, 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 in terms of uh, if private citizens, because we were talking about, you know, what can humans do now? You know, and I mentioned right. in, your, in your leaf that you, you, mm-hmm. you started some, some very good, um, uh, what I call, it's actually an initiative, very mm. positive initiative. There's the initiative of citizens' diplomacy, which is track two. 
what we should be doing as citizens, which is what you're doing, mm. you are telling people, look, I have a concept, a good concept, it's positive, let's share, let's wake up, let's be nice, let's be kind. This is exactly what the extraterrestrials are telling us, the positive, the mm. good extraterrestrials are telling us. Let's involve ourselves in citizens' diplomacy. And what we have, when you hear of a contactee, you know, mm. somebody like your Billy Myers case, for example, mm-hmm. your Lisa Royale, mm-hmm. uh, your, your, your great channelers, and your Barbara Massiniak, mm-hmm. and your Georgia Damsky, and your Howard Menger, all uh-huh. these contactees, they are all extraterrestrials. They're valiant Thor. Uh-huh. They're all positive extraterrestrials that have made citizens' diplomacy with us humans, mm. given us spiritual advice and knowledge mm. how to conduct our business. They have been turned away by the government because the government only wanted their technology. Mm. They weren't interested in the spiritual advice. For example, get rid of nuclear weapons, you know, get rid of, uh, you know, raping the earth mm. and, 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 and just destroying the forest. The military industrial complex's business is all about destroying everything to sell arms and to cause fights. So, this citizens' diplomacy effort that you're doing, I think, is fantastic, and I think that in time, this will be something we will all get involved with mm-hmm. uh, on, on, on the basis of the example that you've set, and we will engage groups between each other to spread mm-hmm. this message. And, you know, if you get into, into government, this would be something I'd fully support you with, because the next step there is to open up this, this initiative, citizens' initiative, with our extraterrestrial mm. family in the stellar universe, so that we can join them. They want it. Because interestingly, uh, in, in, in the blog, in, on, on the net, I have been uh, either accused or, or being uh, extraterrestrial. You know, I mean, <laughs> well, I, I, wish, I, w- I wish, you know, you I had contact. <laughs> it is no accident that you are doing what you are doing. Mm. This is another, uh, it, you, you're being inspired. Something right. is inspiring you. That's true. I mean, it's, it's very true. I mean, I, I, I feel that I have somehow I make that uh, connection about 12 years, uh, 12 years ago. And then ever since that time, I feel that I've been guided. But uh, uh, interestingly, I never really personally, you know, witnessed what I would consider a UFO or ET, although I'm in a, in a path to, to, to pursue it. And I know uh, uh, Dr. Stephen uh, Greer has a, has a, uh, a working uh, group that help people to make contact. So um, possibly in, in November I will join you know join his group in the in the Palm Spring and uh, California. Uh-huh. Well, you and may not have training. to go very far because we might be doing it ourselves here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, so will, we will be working on an initiative okay. for open contact with extraterrestrials. As you know, in um, hmm. in, uh, in in the documentary I did in Hong Kong, we did that. We had a craft come in over Pok Lam. It was witnessed by my son, by my wife, mm. and was witnessed by a chartered accountant from one of the top five. In Hong Kong, mm. the craft appeared out of nowhere. You can go to my website. You go to the button that says Hong Kong Media, and you scroll down to where it says uh, Inside Story with Derek Wong on ATV, and you can watch a reenactment, and you can hear the whole thing, and you can see the whole thing on the on the program. And and that website will be uh, exopolitics uh, dot www dot exopoliticshongkong.hk Okay, exopolitics Hong Kong uh, continue, no, no uh, doubt. Exopolitics Exo- Hong, Kong Hong Kong continue. HK or just Hong Kong? Just a, exopoliticshongkong.hk okay. but We can post it on your website afterwards. Yeah, so we will. We everybody will do that. can look. And I'll give them that link as well for that okay. program. And, and they want, the extraterrestrials want to appear to those who are half awakened. They want mm-hmm. to. They want to bring us up to speed. This is how the universe works. Mm. They seed the universe, they, they culture it, they grow it, mm. and, and mm. that's the way it is. Can they come to our studio? <laughs> no, I mean, maybe <laughs> via, you know, I mean, through uh, Neil, I mean, he already uh, enlightened, no, few this, of us this here. This is citizens' diplomacy. What we are doing and now, people. and what Dr. Young is doing in his book, I can assure you, mm. is citizens' diplomacy, which is all part of contact. This kind of contact happened before with the armature radio band, long time, maybe in the 50s yeah. in America. Yeah. The, the ET come through the, one of the radio band and they download, uh, well, they don't download those days, they just record all the alien messages. Yes. It could in, happen in, here. In one of the radio programs. Um, not in a radio program, one of the radio band, uh, the wavelength band, okay. the armature band. It's audio yeah. and the recording? Uh, audio what? recording. So, is it what was his name is George Adamski. 
Not Jadamski, another another contact he. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. But, uh, Han, Han, Han something, George Han? Well, it's happened since then. You yeah. know, it happened in England. It happened on the TV. So you get the right radio, yeah. you can just tune to the alien station almost. Oh. It did happen. Yeah. No, they they, they actually case. intervene. They intervene on the channel. It's yeah. happened a few times. Uh-huh. Do they have any comments on our poor management of our planets? Because our North Pole, you know that, it is melting. Now North Pole, just, just a few days ago, we can have a photo that North Pole is melting. And now the North Pole, we have two, two knives, two shipping new knives because now the, the, the shipping route is free now. And the polar bear is going to drown. Oh. <laughs> I can this, I can this, show you that this, my son will not see real yes. real polar bear. We're wired into a life of experiencing events through linear time, but if you had to look back thousands of years and, and hundreds of thousands of years, things come and go. Ice ages come and go. Things get hot. Things get cool. But make no mistake about it. You hear a lot about 2012. You know, we we hear a lot about this. Right. Make no mistake about it that the new sphere would be one of the ingredients that would be responsible for some of the Earth changes because it's cybernetic bioreactive feedback. If something goes out of balance on Earth, she, Mother Earth, will shake us off like fleas of a dog and she will shake the ground until she gets it right. But that is, that is you know, they will shake off humans too. <laughs> Talking about humans. <laughs> that happened before. Look how many people died mm-hmm. every time there's a huge earthquake. I mean, what we, I'm not concerned about how many earthquakes we get. Mm-hmm. I'm not concerned about you know, how many rainstorms we get. What you must look at is the intensity, is mm-hmm. the strength of it. Is the strength of what you're seeing around us today more intense, more deep? The answer is yes. You know, it's mm-hmm. yes. The earthquake in China, the tsunami, you know, we're mm-hmm. seeing very, very deep, intense more catastrophic mm-hmm. events. And this is all related to the new sphere. The collective consciousness. But we cannot stop polluting our environment. That means, are we going to be extinct by new sphere? You know what? We are going to be, are we going to be extinct? We can be extinct by so many, many things. We can be extinct by being stupid. We can be extinct by allowing nuclear weapons to continue. We can be extinct by sitting here with our head in the sand doing nothing. The answer is this awakened humanity. This whole concept of awakened humanity is more than just one radio program. It's a very deep subject and it's very important that people know about it. That we all awaken. We don't, you know, why is it this democratic government in America one minute, this Republican another minute, this Democrat? Yeah. Why are we staying with the same system? We don't have to vote. Right. Why are we always voting for one or the other? Stupid. Right? <laughs> stupid. Absolutely stupid. Why can I use stupid? It's stupid because we are being stupid. You know, why do we have to vote? We don't like this government. Okay, so we vote for the next government. Labour, Conservative, Labour in England, Labour, yeah, Conservative. Yeah. We don't need to vote for any of them. We're stupid. Stop voting. It's up to us. We can change it. If we don't vote, they don't come. Right. And we can s- the same animal, you know, different votes. Is it votes. less and less people voting well, in America? Huh? Is it less and less people voting in America? Americans, and, and sadly for the Americans, you know, we call them the American sheeple. You know, mm-hmm. sheep, they follow, the American ah. sheeple. <laughs> I don't mean this in a very unkind way, but it's the only way I can graphically say to upset people to wake them up. I mean it in a, in a way to help them. Don't be a sheep and follow. Right. Be a people, not a sheeple. Well, in, in this you know, uh, election time, you know, I, I just want to point out you know, there are, there's a, a, a different option. You know, it's not like that we have to vote for the lesser of the, of the two or three or five or seven evil. Don't, there's another don't worry, option. I will put two names on my vote. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> President Wu Jiantou <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Pete Melvin Chapao. Right. So in the United States, and if you have a chance, you can uh, kind of Google uh, Ron Paul. You know, I mean, he, he's, he's a, he's, he's a, a man. Tell the who, truth. Yeah, he's telling the truth, and uh, so I, I, I always feel that if Americans can, can understand Ron Paul better and support him, and then we probably will speed up our, our evolution you know, in the right direction. Anyway, um, well, my, 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 my head is still burning hot, right? <laughs> and then we just have a, a, a kind of a, a glimpse of what, what is to come. And uh, before I conclude... I have another question. <laughs> So we have a big group of people, I think over 90%. Uh, 
they just follow. They are slaves. We have less than 10% of people. They are awakened. They want to do something good. So, if the speed of awakening is too slow, and the new sphere will come to extend the race, how about the 10% awakened? This is useless. The effort paid for awakening is wasted. We are not at 10%, that's the problem. We're not less even, than 10%. We're not even at 1%. We're, I know less than 10%. We have to work hard. Well, but in the uh, meantime, you I think can it's 10% will be rolling then. It, it, it's it's yeah. coming. It is it's growing. The circumstances, the internet is the greatest savior we have. Right. You know, mm. it's the greatest mm. light that's come from the extraterrestrials. It really is. It's pumped down mm-hmm. into our consciousness. It's moving things at such a pace that the American military intelligence services can't even stop it. In fact, so Dr. Stephen Greer, you listen to him, you listen to Dr. C.B. Scott Jones, Mm-hmm. ex-naval military intelligence will tell you there are people inside the military intelligence that want to come out mm. they can't they're stuck they want us to help them come out and they are coming out mm. we are going to be changing very rapidly I tell you over this next three to four years but I think Moon wants to now quickly just tell you about we're having some lectures maybe yeah. you can explain Moon yeah, you think Awakening if, um, Humanity if you think Nails our speech today is knock knock you can hear him again in our um, Hong Kong U UFO lecture coming up in September 16 all the way to November 4th every Tuesday um, 5.30 to 7.30 in two of the biggest hall in Hong Kong U. Yes, well, we'll you can check out our website to have all the detail and registration. We'll put a link up with Dr. Yearn so you can see uh-huh. the schedule of the speakers. There's Moon, mm-hmm. myself, there's Mary Rodwell from Australia who will be talking about ET transformation. And uh, we'll be talk- there'll be Dr. Albert So on pyramids. There'll be many, many, many interesting lectures. And you can see the speakers' times, the names of the speakers, and we'll put the link up. And, and those uh, lectures are, are open to the public. Yeah, region. it's open to the public. You just have okay. to register. So people with can me. just register yeah. and then and yeah. try to learn more. And of course, you know, uh, there is a, a, a number of books that uh, Neil is going to uh, to put on on his uh, uh, website, and uh, so that we can we can brush up on it. Anyway, um, we just had a, a very uh, powerful introduction. So I'm sure many of us are, will be wanting to know more. So, Neil, you know, we will bring you back and then Welcome. to enlighten us, you know, more on this, on this very important topic, you know, because we know the year 2012 means that something is going to happen. And then it seems like a lot of you know, people are able to bring out this message. Okay, time is uh, up. We kind of run, you know, over just a little bit, but um, we will have more in, in, our, in our future program. Uh, thanks, you know, Moon Fong and uh, Liu Go, and then uh, thanks for tuning in. Good night. Good night. Good night.